junior saber Jonas Fredriksson is getting a special gift this Christmas, time with his father. The native of Stockholm, Sweden, is in his second year playing hockey in North America. He has not seen his family in several months. His father arrived in Buffalo last week to stay with Jonas through the Christmas holiday. Yeah, it, it feels great. I mean, I haven't seen my parents in a long while, and it's just a good feeling and a, a nice surprise that when he told me he was coming over just a couple of days ago. So it feels really good. Now, you played at prep school um, the year before this, so you've been away from home for, for quite some time. Yeah, uh, last year was, it was a bit different. It was a lot of school, and you didn't really have the same same time to think about what you like you don't have any downtime like I have here and it's it's been tougher this year to not get the feeling that you maybe want to go home certain times but uh, it's it's I've been a long long ways from my family and it's been hard at times that's for sure what were your feelings or your thoughts when you looked up in the stands and saw your father for the first time tonight uh, it felt pretty good it was uh, it was a little weird at first because I'm not used to it but it felt pretty good. Did you kind of feel an extra little spring in your step uh, knowing that you had family in, in the crowd tonight? I don't know. I mean, it's mind kind of goes blank when you're playing and you don't really think about the outsides. But I guess, yeah, especially for the first few shifts, I, I was just happy. Tell me what you're looking forward to the most for Christmas. Uh, just spending it with my dad. That's it. You'll be here for the Christmas season and uh, it'll, be, it'll be good to have father and son reunited for Christmas. Oh, yes, really. You got here just a couple of hours before game time, if I heard right? Yes, that's correct. I flew in today and I uh, uh, came through New York to Buffalo. So right now your body is telling you it's probably more like 3, 4 in the morning and you're still here. Yeah, it's 4 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> well, I mean, what, what was it like getting to see your son play live? Well, I can tell you, I haven't seen him play live for two years, more or less. And before that, I usually watched 80 games a season. So. It's been it's been really tough to not see him live. And you're usually very loyal. You're getting yourself out of bed uh, uh, during the overnight to watch him on the internet now. Absolutely, I haven't missed I missed two games so far. And uh, so you'll be here for Christmas. Uh, what, what what are your plans? Well, uh, part of it is going to be get together with the Land Yorks and and talk a little bit with them, and then I think we're going to try to do some stuff by ourselves. <laughs> It's got to be important to you because you said you haven't seen your son play live in a couple of years, which means that you really haven't had a lot of time together uh, during the hockey season. No, none at all, really. <laughs> so, so this is just as much a gift to you as it is to Jonas. Yes, it really is. You're okay. another one of our international players being the Canadian, but you will get to go home for Christmas. Yeah, I'm going home 24th. We play in Milton on the 23rd, so it should be real good. Be a good feeling heading back out to Calgary, just even if it's just for a couple of days. Oh yeah, I'm real excited to see my family and friends. And uh, well, you had a goal in your last home game before the Christmas season, so that uh, that had to be a nice touch. Yeah, it felt pretty good. I'll hopefully, give the boys a push. But well, more than that, you guys broke a losing streak tonight, so that had to be a good feeling to be able to do that on home ice heading into a, a holiday. Yeah, it's real good to get the monkey off your back there. And Turn things around. Well, you also helped out the crowd a little bit by scoring early to uh, get a bunch of teddy bears and other animals flying on the ice. Uh, Mr. Ryan Schmelzer, he knew he was going to do it. We all know. <laughs> so, when you're sitting there watching that, just uh, what was going on in your mind? Just, you, do, you, do you ever play in a lot of games where you see little publicity stunts like that? I've played in a couple and felt pretty good for a guy like Ryan. He probably wanted to play with the teddies, but it was a good thing for the team and it was a good start to the game. Good thing we ended up with a win. Once you're back in Calgary, what are you looking forward to for Christmas? Uh, just seeing family and friends. I haven't seen my grandparents in a while, and a lot of friends are back from school, so it should be good. You're one of our NHL legacies on the team. Uh, how um, influential, I mean, how much does your dad uh, try to influence you with your game, or does he kind of leave you to be your own self? I, I think he has a good hybrid of both. He'll uh, tell me things I'm not doing well, but he'll also tell me things I'm doing well. He'll tell me mistakes he made as a player and things he would like me to change. Is he watching a lot of the games on uh, the internet? Yeah, he's watching a lot of them. He thinks you're doing a really good job, so keep it up. Yeah.